Hi friends, welcome back to Vikos. In this video, we will talk about the parallel computing in the distributed versus parallel computing. We will talk about the direct syllabus in the syllabus. Why we talk about parallel computing and distributed computing in the terms of the distributed computing? So, distributed computing is the fundamental main point of different different systems. One system is a specific processor. Then, one system is a small memory. This is the main point. Parallel computing is the one system with multiple processors. This is parallel computing. So, what do we do with all processors? We share the shared memory. What information do we pass? This is parallel computing. Distributed computing is the multiple number of systems. One system is an independent processor and an independent memory. Then, this is through a computer network connector. Whereas, Parallel computing, I will be having a single processor with a single processor, a single system with multiple processor, but all processors share a common memory. This is the main point. This is the additional point. The number of computers required. Parallel computing, one computer is going to be. And distributed computing, several autonomous computers are going to be. Then scalability. Scalability is going to be the system size capacity and increase. So, parallel computing is scalable. If you have a resource, you can have multiple processes. Whereas, in distributed computing, you have multiple systems. That's why we add all systems. Then, we have memory. Distributed processes have different different memory. Whereas, in parallel computing, you have the same memory. In distributed, every processor has its own memory. Then, synchronization. So, synchronization is in parallel computing, a single master clock. So, across all processes, a single master clock. While distributed computing uses synchronization algorithm. So, in the algorithm, we will be detailed about it. Then, last usage. So, parallel computing is used to use a single computer. But, if you have the computer performance overall improved, parallel computing is used to use. Distributed computing is used to do this task. That is why we have to share the resources and databases. We have to share the resources and databases. We have to implement the scalability system. We have to use the distributed computing. So, we have to know the distribution. What is distributed and parallel? We have to ask the director to ask the two-mark. We have to ask the question. So, all of them, friends, all of them, all of them, all of them, I am going to show you a video for a while, so you will have a clear demarcation. This is the subtopic, that is the subtopic. If you want to show you the first one video, if you want to show you the first one, I am going to show you the first one. So, if you like the video, please share it with me, 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 share it with me. Thanks, bye.